For the last eight years, Adam Alani and his team from Oregon State's College of Pharmacy have been working on a drug that would attack certain types of cancer, most notably those that are considered hypoxic or low in oxygen, like pancreatic cancer. It is the game of patient and per perseverance, but eventually, you know, you you're going to have something as a breakthrough through this process. What broke through for them is a breakthrough in the fight to defeat cancer. Cancer in the pancreas is difficult to fight. So when it develops, it creates its own micro environment, sort of puts a bunker around it as a defense and severely drops the oxygen levels, which is also what makes it hard for any drug to attack pancreatic cancer. So Alani's team used the very defense that the pancreatic cancer tumor uses to defend itself to beat it. They created a drug that's protected from low oxygen levels that helped it survive longer. We spent a lot of time to come with the best packaging for them and said, OK, now we have the best package and now let's see if they're going to work or not. Pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly types. Recently, Alex Trebek and Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg among those that have died from the disease. There are no early detection screenings. Usually when signs present, it's too late. For uh, pancreatic cancer, you have the patient turning jaundiced or having abdominal pain, which is not really detection because by then the disease is fairly alarmed. That's Dr. Brett Shepard, co-director of the Brendan Colson Center for Pancreatic Care at OHSU's Knight Cancer Institute. While Alani's team provided the drug, his team provided the cancer cells to put those drugs to work on. This is really an example of team science. You know, no one can really do this on their own. This is an example of collaboration between two different sites and um, and it's, it's how we make progress in this world. Eventually, through trial and error and using mice's research, they found that after 100 days, we looked at the tumor tissue all of it, it become it become more responsive to the treatment. And this is why we ended with the tumor in general cured in the mice and they, it did not reoccur again. Which gives someone like Dr. Shepard that has spent his entire career trying to find a cure, hope. Not only gives me hope, but I hope that it gives patients and their families hope because we've made a lot of progress. All right, now this is still a ways off from being used as treatment. It still needs to get approved and approved for multiple human trials as well. They say it's still a few years off, but a step in the right direction. Tim.